Okay, this is a, a quick video to demonstrate quite an unexpected behavior of this um, buck boost module I have here, which takes, uh, I think it's about um, 4.5 to 45 volts on the input. We can get adjustable 1.25 to 25 volts on the, the output with um, a constant current control. So that all sounds very good. So I'm going to power it up. 12 volts on the input and as you can see I've already got it adjusted to uh, 5 volts. Um, my multimeter probes here are just directly connected across the, uh, the output and I can demonstrate we can adjust the oh, wrong one. Uh, can adjust the, the voltage here so I can bring down the, the voltage, I can bring it up. Um, goes all the way up, but I'm going to bring it back down to around about 5 volts here. And uh, likewise, I can uh, adjust the uh, the current. So just need to disconnect my probe, switch over to amp scale, 20 amp here. And I'm actually adjusted way down at the moment. But uh, you can see I'm taking it up to constant current. This is a complete short circuit, so 150 milliamps. This can go all the way up to 2 amps. But I'm just going to bring it way down to roughly 2, around about 1 or 2. Actually, that's uh, 10 or 20 milliamps. So, at 10 or 20 milliamps, constant current control. I should be able to switch over here and directly light up an LED. No current limiting resistor or anything and as we can see we've got uh, 10 milliamps or thereabouts um, going through that. So that's all good. If I take it back to a direct short, fine. That all sounds wonderful. And uh, if you were to build a system that relied on constant current control, you would think this module is the bee's knees. But, as I discovered, what happens if we power cycle the entire module with the circuit in place? So, power off. No current flowing. Power back on. And boom! 1.4... 1.4 amps. That's no good. However, if I disconnect, then reconnect with the power onto the module, the constant current control kicks back in. So unless I'm doing something totally wrong, it looks like the, um, the constant current feature is only working if the load is actually connected after the module is powered up. I don't know if that's usual for modules like this, um, but as I say, it kind of makes it a bit, um, a bit useless for building any fixed installation. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, whether it's a design flaw in the module itself, but if I zoom in a little bit, I think what's going on here is we have the feedback, I'm guessing, it doesn't have any markings on it, but I'm guessing this is an op amp which is um, responsible for the, uh, the feedback control. Um, but uh, it's a multi-layer PCB and I can't really see or trace the, the circuit um, very well, but I'm guessing that uh, there could actually be a design flaw in the way that the feedback circuit works here. I don't know. Or maybe these modules will work like this. Anyway, three bucks uh, or so for a module like this. I guess it works if you don't actually rely on the constant uh, current control. But um, yeah, if you do actually want to take advantage of that feature, you have to be very careful about how you use it. Hmm. I'll have to try out some more of these modules and, and find out whether this is a, a common behavior or not. I uh, never actually seen it before. Anyway, um, hope that uh, Helps if anyone uh, 
not that many people watch any of my videos. I don't really um, publish these for, for people to watch, more just self-documenting uh, my little experiments. But uh, if anyone does wander by and has got a bit of an explanation for what's going on here, I'd love to, uh, to hear it. Okay, bye for now.